if Roe versus Wade is ultimately overturned, the work of the pro-life movement becomes more important than ever, and pro-life pregnancy clinics will be on the front lines, serving women in need. To get a close-up look of these clinics, I traveled to Sarasota, Florida, and saw firsthand how a pregnancy center is taking on the abortion industry in the state. When I found out I was pregnant, I was distraught. I didn't, I did not know what to do. I didn't know what to think. Um, I didn't know what to tell my mom. I thought my parents were gonna be mad at me, you know, um, unwed, um, young. Erica Pompey of Florida shares the same story as so many other women, an unmarried woman who found herself in an unplanned pregnancy. I knew deep down I didn't want to, um, having an abortion, but that was the first thing that came to mind. Oh, I can't have this baby. But her story has a happy ending. See, look. Give me look. Give me kisses. I miss Genesis. Um, well, I got her name from the first book of the Bible. And Genesis, is, it's a, such a heavy meaning for me. She's my new beginning. It gives me a chance to do things right to start over. Baby Genesis was born on Easter Sunday this year, a time of rebirth and renewal. 22-year-old Pompey credits her mother's strong support to saying yes to life and the support from some other women yeah, as well. Nice. She's a pretty special little baby. Yes, yes. very special. Yeah. It was at the Community Pregnancy Clinic in Sarasota, Florida, where Pompey got a first glimpse of her daughter from an ultrasound and a surprising gesture from a clinic volunteer. At the end, we were getting ready to leave. Um, Carol prayed with me. That was, that was amazing. That was life changing. I knew then that that's my lifetime friend. The new mom says she texts every day or every other day with the volunteer team, sending pictures and updates still receiving support one year after she first made an appointment. Everyone is grateful it was their clinic doors Pompey walked into, and not the doors next door. Because the Community Pregnancy Clinic here in Sarasota, Florida, sits in the shadow of the state's largest Planned Parenthood. Clinic staff portray it as a David and Goliath matchup. We were able to get this little tiny gray house literally in the shadow of Planned Parenthood. And it's that, that attempt to be that last minute chance. If, if that girl just before she walks in there is willing to say, hey, we'll do an ultrasound for free. We'll give you this help for free. We're right there. And, and we can intervene in that very last second with young women. It's a life-saving strategy. As sidewalk counselors frequently inform abortion-minded women going to Planned Parenthood, about the pro-life pregnancy center just steps away. The clinic is equipped with an ultrasound, an ultrasound van that travels to women most in need, and even recently, Mary's House, a small home next door that will serve as a counseling and educational hub for new moms. Everything patients receive here from pregnancy and STI tests to new clothes for their babies is completely free. And young Erica is not the only mom who's recently benefited. When I found out I was pregnant, it was a complete shock. I wasn't in a relationship. There were multiple factors going on in my life to where I didn't feel like I was ready or, or couldn't take on a child at the time. So it was just it was just a lot of things that were piling on. Rochelle Matheny felt so overwhelmed by her pregnancy earlier this year, she went to a nearby abortion facility. I actually had a, an ultrasound at the abortion clinic, and, and there's a story to this. They had told me within five seconds, you only have one in there. Matheny was early in her pregnancy and decided to take the abortion pill. But hours later, regretting her decision, researched online it was possible to reverse the effects of that first abortion pill. And Community Pregnancy Clinic was there to help. I looked into that for a few minutes and found that there were pregnancy clinics nearby that could help out. So I called a number at 316 in the morning and, and talked to someone, yes, yes. And they were, it's a 24 hour line, they were able, able to help instantly. The abortion pill reversal is 
progesterone. And so the, when they take the first pill, if they have, uh, if they're able to decide that they don't want to go through with it, they can call the number, the hotline number, and then get in contact with the nurse, get in contact with the doctor, get the um, progesterone that they need to take, come in for an ultrasound, and make sure that um, everything will progress in a more positive way. When the young pregnant mother came to the pro-life clinic for that ultrasound, she was in for big news not originally shared with her at the abortion facility. When I came in to this clinic, they told me instantly, they were like, you're having twins, which was a complete shock to me, complete shock. So not only had I saved one life, not only was one life important to me, but I found out that there were two, two. Yeah. We really want the best for them in every way possible, physically, mentally, spiritually. Mary Cuzell is a registered nurse and volunteer at this pro-life Florida clinic. Her job here is her reward. It just makes you so happy, you know, like, you know, love is repaid by love alone. So it's like, in or just to help these people and then to see the results just becomes such a, Wow, just such a way to keep going. While the neighborhood Planned Parenthood towers in size to this pro-life center, the little gray house that could uses a mercy model every mom deserves. It's the love and mercy that convinced Matheny to choose life twice over. Still early on in her pregnancy, the barely there bump reminds the Florida mother of twins of all she's gained here. And I know I'm meant to be a mother. I've known it for many, many years. It's a, it's a great dream of mine, but it just, at the time, there were so many things coming against me and I didn't really have the support that I needed. The emotional support was the best of all because you never know who's walking into the clinic. You don't know if they don't have some uh, support from their mother, father, extended family, their friends. You don't know how alone they could be and they really, really seemed to care. They gave me more emotional support than anyone else in my life.